Hey guys, so I'm doing yet another give it a week. I know I just did a foundation give it a week, but I didn't really love that one, and my skin's been really acting up recently, so I wanted something with more full coverage. So I'm finally trying to jump on this bandwagon for Revlon Color Stay. I've heard it's pretty good for dry skin. This is the normal dry skin, so um, I'm going to give it a try because my skin is both has a lot of acne right now, and it's super dry, so it's very hard to find stuff that works. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this using my favorite method, which is just, if I can get my Real Techniques brush sprayed with all this Evian stuff. So let's go ahead and do that, and then I will check back in. Okay, so as far as application and the appearance of it, I'm really liking this. So we'll just see how it does as far as holding up and as far as if it dries my skin out at all because it is a color stay product. So um, I think if I have a chance, I'll check back in for uh, first impressions later, but if not, I will see you tomorrow for day two. Hey guys, I'm here with my quick first impressions on the Revlon Color Stay Foundation for Normal Dry Skin. And yeah, I've been wearing it now about three and a half hours. And I gotta tell you, I really am loving it. Like, let me look at a mirror so I can like better explain it, I guess. It looks so like fresh looking. Like it's not overly greasy looking, but it has a bit of a dewiness to it, which my skin naturally doesn't have a whole lot of dewiness. I didn't moisturize today, so that's all from this. And it looks really smooth, like I put powder over it and it doesn't look cakey. Um, it just, and I mean, it's not super full coverage because as you can see, you can still see my acne, but that's not a huge deal. As long as the skin itself looks nice and it's a little covered, I'm happy. I didn't put any concealer anywhere, so this is all the foundation and I'm really pleased. So I will check in tomorrow for day two. Hey, it's day two, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it the same way I did yesterday because I really did like it. So I like the way that looks, and I will see you tomorrow for day three. Hey guys, it's day three, and I'm going to just, again, apply this the same way as I did the last two days, because I love the way it looks. So, And I'm actually going to add another layer today because I'm really trying to get pretty full coverage. If you want to run away I did have the coverage, but I'm not sure I'm super pleased with the finish when you build it up. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow for day four. Hey, so it's day four, and I'm going to go ahead and apply it same as always, but I think I might make it the final day because I think I've figured out how I feel about this. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it. So I will be back later, hopefully, with my final thoughts. I'll see you then. Hey guys, so I'm here with my final thoughts on the Revlon Color Stay Makeup for Normal to Dry Skin. And let me just tell you, you might have seen my last give of the week. It was not so positive. This one really is. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I know I'm not super revolutionary <laughs> for buying Revlon Color Stay. 
raid rep for years and the reason I didn't buy it before was I don't know I guess it's kind of like a hipster side of me like sometimes I'll make a raid rep I'm like eh plus also I'd always heard it wasn't good for dry skin but I don't know I only recently had I heard that there was one for normal to dry skin somebody had mentioned I don't remember who that it was nice for dry skin so I've been having a lot of problems lately with acne and dryness and nothing's really been working and uh, you know I tried the Nearly Naked foundation and I didn't like that. I thought that would be good. So I thought, what is there to lose? Let's try the Colorstay makeup. So um, I'm going to go ahead and jump in because like I said, this foundation has been reviewed millions of times before, at least the oily version. So I don't want to like bore you to death. But I do want to tell you why I like it and some reasons maybe it's not like perfect. Because it's not. Nothing really is very few things anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll kind of just tell you um, what it says on the bottle. This is SPF 15. Mine shade is buff. Wears for 24 hours. So yeah, long wear. Um, my shade's one of the lighter ones because I'm very pale in the winter. But yeah, um, as far as lasting power, I do find it lasts. I mean, I've never really, because Obviously, this one's for normal dry skin, so most of us with normal dry skin do not have problems with the foundation wearing off unless it, like, on dry patches sometimes just doesn't look as nice. This one, similar to, like, the whipped cream foundation from which I had already tried, looks better with time. So, not only is, has, does it have good lasting power, but if you wear it for a long time, I find for us dry skin gals, it looks better, as do most foundations, because they tend to look a little cakey when you first put them on. This one, not as much, but I will let you know about that. Now, as far as the uh, blendability, because I always heard it's super hard to blend on because like, it dries fast. I don't know if maybe I just blend it fast, but I have not had a problem with it caking because I couldn't blend it fast enough. I've had enough time to buff it in my skin like I like to, which I do pretty fast, and then take my fingers over it, which I always do, and just make sure it's blended because my skin doesn't tend to like absorb the product that well. That's any foundation, but this one is better because I can blend it. Unlike the Nearly Naked, which I found was not super blendable, it did not look nice, this one looks super nice when you blend it. Um, as far as like um, the color, as I said, matches, um, the coverage, I maybe it's because this one's for the dry skin or because I've had a lot of breakouts right here, I don't find it full coverage. I don't think I think I've heard it, always heard it was. Um, I would consider it medium coverage. I tried building it up one of the days and it did build a little more coverage, but I didn't like the finish nearly as much. So I would recommend sitting, sticking to one layer if your skin's as dry as mine because it is so dry. And that's one thing I will say is my skin's gotten progressively drier throughout the week because I'm sick again. <sighs> But anyway, that's another story, but um, I found as it got drier, it looked less nice, you know what I mean? Like, um, today it didn't look as good as the first day when it was a little more, or less dry, because it was hotter in the beginning of the week. But it is still look nice, I like it a lot. I keep looking at myself because it looks good, which is miraculous. Um, but yeah, like I said, not too buildable, so that would be a negative. And also, if you're looking at this for full coverage, which I kind of was, I was a little let down, but not a huge deal. I still like it, the coverage I get, because I don't like a full coverage, generally speaking. So this will work for me once, because my acne is clearing up, and I'm in it, it's working. Um, although I will say, it doesn't cover dark spots very well, because I have some acne that's clearing out. So it leaves dark, left dark spots, and I don't find it super covered. But anyway, um... Yeah, one thing I really have to mention is it works great with powder. Like, usually powder kind of cakes on me at first, and I'll have to, like, spray it or wait for the day to go on. I haven't found this cakes with my powder cakes over this at all, and I do set my makeup, even a color stay one, because I tend to touch my face, and it blends off. This one, not as much, but still a little. It's, it's inevitable. So, um... Yeah, it works with powder, which is nice, and the finish with powder or without is like a fresh finish. I don't know, it's probably not the same for oily skin. It's a fresh finish, but not overly oily, and it doesn't get oilier throughout the day. Um, then again, it's winter, so I'm not really sweating, so keep that in mind. Um, the price is kind of an iffy thing. It's $13. It's cheaper than the Colorstay Whipped Cream Foundation, although I do think I got that on sale because I don't think it was more than $13, but cheaper than that if you've heard a lot about that. It's cheaper than some foundations, like I think the Neutrogena one is also more expensive, which again is more meant for drier skins, but um, it's not uh, 
the cheapest, you know what I mean? Um, like you could get like an NYC smooth skin foundation for like three bucks. So clearly not the cheapest, but it's probably one of the better cheap ones out there, which you've heard for years, I know. So now let's move in. That's kind of just my quick thoughts, and I'll probably touch on some of them more again later because I'm going to go ahead and read you the claims that I found on Ulta's website. It says, Foundation smooths on evenly for a flawless look. Soft flex will not rub off with normal wear. It has soft flex in it. Oil free looks, looks fresh, feels natural, and controls excess oil. I think I've touched on most of this before. It does look fresh. As far as the feeling, I don't feel it on my skin at all. It doesn't feel heavy, which I will say with the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Foundation, you get more coverage, but I find it feels heavier, especially like when your skin's really dry. Like I find while it's not drying, it feels heavy. So this is not dry and it feels light. So for me, that's better. Um, yeah, um, there's not a lot else for me to say, uh, that hasn't been said before. This foundation is great, and I think it's fabulous that, A, it has a nice line of colors, but also that it has one for normal to dry, because a lot of foundations, drugstore and high-end, are made for dry, for oilier skin types, because, I guess, us dryer skin gals don't usually have as much to cover, unless you're a teenager like me, and you do have acne, but also dry spots, so very rarely do, do things work on me in this time of year. You've seen a million give it weeks and stuff from me that have said, I don't like this on my skin this time of year, blah, blah, blah. And this is not that case. I think I will use this and repurchase this for a long, long while. Um, I think this will be my winter and then my Maybelline Dream Matte will be my summer because I love that one as well. So overall, I do give this an 8 out of 10. It's not perfect, as I said. It's not super full coverage. Um, you can't really build it that much. And, you know, it's a little expensive. But overall, that's a nice rating. <laughs> like, 80%. Not too bad. I like it a lot. So I highly, highly recommend this over the Nearly Naked, which is cheaper. But if you buy it and don't like it, really, there's no point. So I love this a lot. And it's miraculous because I don't like foundation on me too much so hope you guys found this review helpful I tried to keep it quick but still cover everything because I thought in my last one I was a little scatterbrained didn't organize my notes and I didn't cover everything so hopefully I did but if I didn't be sure to ask questions below I will answer whatever I can thank you so much for watching like this video if you like it subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next time with another or I'll see you later with more give it a weeks and tutorials and stuff bye and even when you're